Arklo Golf Links is a small links course with a mighty impact. Often overlooked as a golfing experience due to its location just down the road from the European club. On Wicklow's coast, Arklo Golf Links is a truly hidden gem that won't stay hidden for long. So Arklo was established in 1927 from Hawtree and Taylor. Because it's so rare in County Wicklow that there is links in, in County Wicklow as well, like there is only the two. Um, there's the big guy is up the road, the European club, and there's a little guy down here called Air Club, but he's getting a lot bigger at the moment, and um, growing very quick, quickly. Um, I mean, obviously, this is this is a proper Lynx golf course, um, and again, one that sort of sometimes gets overlooked because the European is just down the road, and it's very easy just to go, okay, I'll go to the European club, pay the money, and play a big course. Arklo has got tremendous heart. I think it's a really fun, entertaining golf course where you can just explore Lynx golf. And I don't want to say you're not going to get punished because you do get punished as we found out today, but essentially there's an awful lot of character to each hole and what you see off the tee is very rewarding um, for golfers of all abilities, I think. I think it's a lovely course. I mean, and, and people, more important that people are so friendly down there, you know, they, they welcome you with open arms. Uh, I love playing down there. We say it's pure links. Some people don't say that, but uh, when you're on them greens and put putting and stuff, they're all the same. I mean, you know, you stand, you stand where we're standing now and you can pan around and you'll see 12 flags. And I think that, I mean, again, that just sort of gives you a really good signal of what you're going to be out and playing. Playability is what we're after. And visitors are coming out to play it and coming back in and saying, can't get around the links um, as quick as here. Four hours to play 18 holes on the links is fantastic. If you're someone who really likes links golf, then you'll be in your element. But if you're not really a links golf um, fanatic, I think you'd come here and find a, a bit of a struggle, but not in a bad way. I think that's a lot of people turn to links golf and they're, it's too tough, it's too unfair. Whereas I think this is a fair golf course and you will have a lot of fun playing it because there's some interesting shots, plenty of interesting shots. The green complexes are some of the most entertaining around. Straight out of the car, straight out as usual. <laughs> I think that's 90% of golfers. Isn't that's it, it yeah. yeah. Quick stretch. <laughs> quick stretch, there, yeah. Quick stretch. <laughs> Definitely the first hole you come in through the gates and you're up and you can see the whole golf course and see the Irish Sea. Um, the tee shot from the first is great. And then number four up by the road is uh, probably one of the signature halls that it's, it's very tough. Well, you have the roadway and then you have the Irish Sea right beside it. And sometimes when you hear the sea crashing off the rocks and all that, it's a bit apprehensive because there is rough on the left-hand side as well. But I would say to everyone is try and hit the ball low and get it running on the fairway and miss the pot bunkers that are there to accept everything as well. So it's probably the best driving hall um, Definitely on our club, but uh, around the area, I think it's, it's up there with any hall, especially off the back blue, blue tee boxes. Jamie, what do you make of uh, Arklow? We're seven holes in. Really like it. Absolutely gorgeous. The pleasure to actually just walk around, even if you have to sit out a hole or two because of a few wayward shots. It's just a nice place to be. Uh, beautiful golf course. It's your uh, second it's the second time playing Lynx? Yes, I've only played Lynx once before. I played um, Royal Dublin uh, out on Bull Island. Very different experience, I'd Very say. Very different, yeah. Really like that one. Was it hole? The one Fourth. with the road on the right hand side, yeah. you have the coast the whole way up, and it's just dead straight looking down. A few pop bunkers around the place, just scenically beautiful. Um, 
tough hole with the road there. <laughs> but um, really enjoyed that one so far, I think. Um, well, favourite hole in the front is easy for me. That's the eighth. I think the eighth is a sensational 330 yards. I really like our eight hole, especially since we redid the tee box up high. Um, it's a short par four. Um, you could drive the green on a good day. Um, probably not, but it's, it's lovely and you get to stand by the car park and hit your drive and you see it when you come in. It really whets the appetite. I love that. And then you've got these five wonderful par threes. I mean, who doesn't like a good par three, right? So, I mean, you know, that there's four in seven holes or eight holes or something, and you just have a, a whale of a time playing on them. And, and it really eases the middle of the round. It sort of almost relaxes, it's like breathing out after being quite tense playing those first opening holes. And then, of course, the finish is tough as well, but you've got this nice sort of warm middle where you can have a bit of fun. Easy par, I mean like it was always a par. You're getting uh, every bunker shot today. I know, I was just saying, having two feet in a bunker is overrated. Brilliant. That is unbelievable. Brilliant. I'm sorry, that is sensational. <laughs> the par is on. Kevin, we're on 12 now. Yep. A um, couple of par threes there in quick succession. Talk us to the one we just played. Uh, I actually think that's probably the best green, uh, one of the best greens on the course. It's uh, got a really quite a steep slope from, from the back down to the front. But it's got bunkers on both sides, so uh, you really got to pick your spot so carefully on the tee. Uh, seven's a great little par three as well. Yeah, seven's really tricky. I think it's one of those, it's probably, I think it's the shortest par three, but it's probably the trickiest as well. Yeah. Because uh, I hate the shape of the green, but you've got to get over the ditch and you've got to be short of the bank. and. No, <laughs> fingers crossed when you put that ball in the air, you know. Iron play is real like it. Your iron play from seven, eleven, uh, nine, thirteen, four par trees in quick succession. Yeah, I love the fourteenth because I think the green is one of the the most fabulous greens here. Super par. So the back nine starts off at a very tough tent hole. Um, you can't really see the fairway off the tee, but it's 420 odd yards. Um, it's a tough start. The runoffs around the green are really nice. They're looking yeah. lovely at the moment. They're just being extended a little bit. Um, with, we have a new machinery. And the runoff then for more for putting from off the greens is a new factor that we've yeah. been introducing. It's, it's, gonna, it's definitely adding to the fun experience for, definitely, for sure. It definitely. makes it great. The humps and the hollows around the greens definitely, definitely um, take your putter out down and through and move on. Very strong 15 par 4, 16 and 18 are par 5s and index 1, 17 is where you need big drive, a long shot into the green and the back 4 definitely, definitely make or break cards here. I think the 18th is a fabulous finishing hole, uh, par 5. Coming on to 18, how's it been? Really good, really enjoyed it, we've had a great day. Uh, sad that's coming to an end actually, yeah. just means I'll have to come back, that's all. It's, um, it's a friendly link, yeah. I think is a good way to describe it. That, that doesn't mean easy by any means, no, like but it's not, it's not like one of the bigger names in Dublin courses where yeah. you kind of rock up and it punches you in the face as you yeah. come to like the 11th or 12th hole. No, like I haven't lost too many balls. So even when you go into say the dune type areas, it's quite easy to find the ball most of the time. So as long as you keep it relatively straight and you aren't too wild, like it's very playable. If you're carrying a good score and the 18th is downwind, trying to go get home in two on 18 is very good. It's easily reachable in three. Um, I don't think you can reach it in two. I don't think many mortals would reach it in two anyway. But the green site, nice and high, 
it's got a beautiful approach shot in. And you can see it all from the tee, and I think that's part of the beauty here. So you see so much of the hole from the tee. I mean, you know, you stand, you stand where we're standing now, and you can pan around, and you'll see 12 flags. And I think that, I mean, again, that just sort of gives you a really good signal of what you're going to be out and playing. That is such a good shot. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're still there, Johnny. <laughs> Arklow is a special course and club because everything is built around enjoying your experience. Affordable and enjoyable, Arklow Golf Links is a gem hidden no longer.